What's up guys? Welcome back to Seize the Speed for another video and today it's I think part two or three of our project G35 and as you guys might know if you have VQ cars of this era the headlight ballast for the xenons go out pretty uh, often and that's my uh, speculation for the I think yeah the passenger side headlight because neither the high beam or the low beam work and first time this happened to me was on my 03z and i went and changed bulbs a bunch of times and then i've realized it's something else so let's get into it i'm going to show you how to do it step by step so if you do have this protector still on yours um you're gonna want to go ahead and move it out the way there's a couple of tabs here and here and then there is a bolt underneath that you're gonna undo then once those are released there is one more bolt up here which makes it easier to work on where the headlights so this is right now what the headlights look like we have nothing up here we have our daytime running light but not the actual headlight coming on so once this entire part is out of the way that is your ballast right there and there are some let's see there are some Phillips head screws all around it. I think there's three, which we're gonna go ahead and take off. I'll show you on the actual part in a second. So this is the new ballast I ordered off of Amazon. I'll leave the link down in this description below. Came with a new wire and here's the part itself. So the three empty spots are where the Phillips heads are. So go ahead and loosen those. So once the bolts are off, you just give it a gentle thug and it comes out. Um, now you have two choices here. If you want to change that uh, power wire, you can go ahead and um, disconnect it from up there and pull it through. Or you can go ahead and undo that screw and keep the wire in there and unplug it. Um, I'm gonna unplug it first just to test the ballast and make sure um, my power wire works and my ballast works. If it does, then I won't change it. But if it doesn't, I have a new wire here in the new package, so. Let's and see. so once this plug is unplugged, this uh, plug needs to be unplugged from the other side, right on the back right there. There you have it, old ballast. And here's our new one. Let's put it in and see if it's a ballast. Issue. All right, the new ballast is temporarily in and moment of truth. And we have nothing. So the investigation needs to go further. So to diagnose this issue further, I went ahead and figure out, like took all these bolts out and cut my hand in multiple places to get the headlight off the top because I didn't feel like taking all that stuff apart. Um, as you can see, this one's off and replaced it into this one. And voila, we have light. So that means we just needed headlights and I went ahead and did the ballast, but oh well, now we know. So as you can see, we got this light working from the last video, I switched the bulb from that one to this one to check and see if it's the ballast or it's the bulb. So now we have no bulb in here and we have these ugly yellow um, daylights or fog lights on these cars. So we're gonna go ahead and swap those out. We're gonna pull the wheels off at the same time and see if we can swap the wheel spacers in. Let's get into it. All right, so headlights are finally in. Moment of truth. And we got lights. Here we go, we finally have headlights so we can, you know, one step closer to getting this thing registered and on the road, illegal to drive. <laughs> 